The following myth is probably as old as the first home video release of From Russia With Love in the 1980s. Allegedly, Bond creator Ian Fleming himself had a cameo in this second Bond film, made in 1963. But is this really the case? Today, with the help of modern technology, we can finally uncover the truth behind this myth. But let's look at the allegation first. At the 1 hour and 16 mark of the film, we see the Orient Express passing through the Turkish landscape. A man on the right can be seen leaning on two sticks and turning his head to the camera, looking straight at it. For years, the myth cemented itself, especially because there are photos of Ian Fleming visiting the film crew on location. So why should he not have made a spontaneous cameo? Don fans across the globe were puzzled and debated over and over again whether this man could indeed be Ian Fleming. Here is a photo of Fleming posing for the camera on set. At first glance, his outfit seems to be identical to the man on the screenshot, right? But there are notable differences. Although there are no colour photos, the colour of Fleming's trousers is much darker, certainly not blue like in the screenshot. The pullover and collar, however, seem to match. Not being able to properly recognize the face of the man in the film throughout various home video releases, naturally, the myth could be kept alive for many years to come. Now, with the latest 4K print and the help of AI upscaling and face refinement technology, it can once and for all be revealed that the man in the film is definitely not Ian Fleming. The facial features do not match at all, and the man looks considerably younger, probably in his late 20s to mid 30s. The fact that there is a cow visible at the right side of the frame also suggests that the man is simply a local farmer looking after his herd, while the second unit filmed the train passing by. It would have been nice though to have an Ian Fleming cameo in a Bond film, but sadly this one wasn't it.